What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk FanDuel and Draft King. Fantasy football for week eight. All right, guys, if you guys are new here, basically, uh, my, the way my channel goes is uh, by segment. So uh, basically, uh, on Monday, I usually put segment one. And then the next day, segment two, segment three on Wednesday and Friday, segment four. But lately, I've been combining them together. Segment one is basically, I'm going to put it out right now. And then segment two and three and four, I'll probably do all of them together. All right. So segment one is my first look and the recap. So uh, my recap is the five players that I picked on segment three. Uh, I'll let you guys know how they did. And then after that, I do the recap. Uh, my first look. my first look is consists of five players that I like the most at each position. So we go with uh, quarterback, receivers, running backs, and tight end. All right, and then uh, segment two is the cheap place where I give you guys two players. Uh, I set the salary cap for the cheap place. I give you two players at each position that I like. As far as the cheap list, there's a chance uh, the players that I have on the recap could be on the cheap list. That's possible. And segment three is basically the main core of my plays. Five players, one running back, two receivers, one quarterback, and a tight end. Five players. Those are the five players that I will play the most in my lineups. I'm, and, of course, I'm going to mix them up. Some of them I'm going to have all five. Some of them I'm going to have three and two and mix it up a little bit and segment four is usually when i if anything change i want to talk about it if there's a player i previous previously listed as my on my uh, first look or my f segment three then i don't like him for certain reason or he got hurt or covid 19 whatever the reason i change them then i will talk about it on my last segment all right so let's jump to segment segment one and see the recap all right guys so on fd actually my my five players did pretty good except for one of course so uh week eight uh i had ball 18.86 that's not bad but cook you had to have cook definitely i'm done by the running back 51 60 man this guy had a great game AJ Green was the bad player, 3.9, very disappointed. I like all three receivers for that game, but I decided to go with the cheaper one, and that actually cost, cost, hurt me, cost me a lot. Allen uh, for uh, Chargers did uh, really good, 21.70. Basically, this guy do good, do good every week unless if he is hurt. And then Cook, the tight end for New Orleans, 16.10, definitely was a great tight end. All right, uh, and it was low on. And as far as FD, FD was not as good. FD was actually bad. Lamar Jackson, man, that's who. He need to step it up. Had a lot of fumble in this game. I mean, interceptions. It was really bad. Hunt, uh, I was expecting more. Definitely was expecting more, but 11.7? I thought he had less. Hmm. Maybe I make a mistake here. Marcus Brown, 6.8. Man, if he didn't, if this guy didn't call the touchdown, it would, it would have been really, really bad. Hayuk, 19.1. He was definitely the best play on my FD list, and Graham was just bad. So let's go ahead and forget about week eight and jump to week nine. Let me go ahead and give you guys my five players that I like at each position. I'm going to go to the DK website and FD website to do so. All right, uh, that's actually helped me as far as it takes a lot of time to go to my website and type them down. Since I'm doing everything on my own, it's just better to just come to the website and do it. For quarterback, guys, so the, on FD, that's DK right here. On FD, I mean on DK, sorry. Quarterback, Wilson. Man, Wilson is the wait a minute. Can he's not even the most expensive quarterback. Wilson is actually the third. So definitely I love Wilson's again. Buffalo, two teams that struggling. 
when it's come for the defensive side of the game buffalo is my team i'm hoping they can win this game but man this game could be fire could be the highest uh scoring game of the of sunday so definitely like wilson i like both quarterback but wilson as far as the top five quarterback wilson in this game is the only one who make it on the list my second guy i'm gonna go with here is uh watson see Watson is what is Watson 7.1 against Jacksonville uh, coming from a bye week uh, man they're struggling right now he has been much better but I expect them to win this game especially if Jacksonville gonna miss their quarterback so Watson hopefully he can continue and hopefully as you can see his last was it four games has been over 23 fantasy points so I'm hoping he can give us anything between 20 and 35, I mean 27 and 35 fantasy points. That's what I'm hoping for here. So Watson, love him. Uh, probably going to be popular, but hey, well deserved. So Watson is my second quarterback. The third guy I'm going to look to play is uh, Herbert against Las Vegas. All right. Herbert, uh, last week, uh, the weather probably hurt him a little bit, but I love him this week. 6.8K. Definitely going back to him. I had him last week as one of, actually, he was my top quarterback for DK last week. Uh, definitely only had 18 fantasy points, but I expect him to definitely has more in this week. Uh, my third fourth quarterback going to be Lamar Jackson. Yes, uh, against Indianapolis. Yes, he was bad. I mean, he was really, really bad last week, but I expect him to bounce back here. Uh, and hopefully he can do something similar to what he did in week six. Hopefully even better So uh, because he is capable of doing it. So he was playing Pittsburgh. So this game, this week, it's not Pittsburgh. I expect them him to be better. Even though the team is playing different, he's not too bad. But I definitely expect him to be better than he was last week. Lamar Jackson is the guy. And my fifth guy I'm going to go with. I wanted to go with Maury, but I changed it. I'm going to go with Ben here against Dallas. You know Dallas is just, they're just bad in both sides of the game. Uh, the only thing is I can see uh, Pittsburgh going the ball a lot, but I'm going to go with Ben here. Uh, that's probably the first time I have Ben or second time in my top five quarterback. But uh, Maury is the guy I wanted to put in there, but I'm going to go with the discount here and go with Ben. All right, even though Ben, I could have saved him to put in on my cheap please, but I'm going to go with Ben here. Uh, but definitely, actually, you know something? Since I, since I can put, yeah, I'm going to go with Ben here. All right, so uh, as far as running back, Dalvin Cook, man, uh, he was my man running back on ZK, and 8.2K, definitely love him, and... Uh, Man, this guy was great. Of course, I don't think he's going to come anywhere close to what he did last week, but he's still a running back I'm looking to play. And uh, Henry, 7.9K against Chicago. I like Henry. Henry, I know Chicago defensively is not too bad, but I'm going to go with uh, Henry here as my second guy. Uh, and then the... Okay, so let's see how Cook, Henry... And then I'm going to go with the Pittsburgh running back, 6.9K, Connor against Dallas. All right. Uh, Connor going to get the ball. Uh, he going to get the ball both. Uh, let's see. As you can see, he got 15, 20, 20, 15. So hopefully going to be where he get 20. And as you can see, he do get some targets. So I like that combination of those targets with 15 to 21. And against Dallas, I can definitely see him have his best game of the year. Uh, for that reason, I like him. And uh, another guy I do like is, might not be popular, but I like Gordon here. Well, Gordon actually could be a popular play this week. But I like Gordon. I like him last week too, but I definitely like him this week. So Gordon is another guy I like. Uh, could be the only one. Where against ATL, uh, I know last week, then they had to try to, come back they did come back and win this game but Gordon uh, had seven targets so that's good to see the target is very important especially on the K I like Gordon here 
and I definitely see him having more than eight items this week. And then another guy I'm gonna go here with is Montgomery. Love Montgomery's 5.7K against Tennessee, all right? Yes, Montgomery, Chicago is like dead last basically when it's come to uh, running the ball, but I like them. I like him this week, and I'm glad to see that he gets the ball with Tetsi 21 times. So that was good to see. And if he gets that, I can definitely see him have even a better game. Uh, as far as receivers, I, I will always go with top. If Hopkins there, I most likely I will always have Hopkins. So Hopkins, he's going to get targets after targets after targets. So Hopkins always going to make my list. And another guy, again, is Allen. For the same reason, they, those guys catch the ball, and they're really good, and targets going to come their way for that reason. I like both of them. And one guy I really like is one player that played for my team. He is actually the third most expensive player, but I like him a lot this week, and that is Diggs. All right? Uh, again, Cialo, I can see Diggs. Could be what uh, those Seattle players did the last two weeks. I can see Diggs have a game like that. So for that reason, I like Diggs. And uh, Robinson for Chicago. Robinson for Chicago against Tennessee is another player I like. Robinson is basically the only receiver they have. Going to have to do everything. The quarterback just need to throw him the ball. Ain't going to go get it. So I do like Robinson. Uh, I like him last week, too. I mean, I ended up playing him at the last minute when I saw that he was going to play. So, uh, And then the last guy I'm going to go here with, uh, I know I don't have any of the Seattle guys in there. Uh, it's because I like those five receivers better. I will definitely play them, but I like those five receivers better. And the last one is Fuller for Houston. All right? Uh, and, of course, there will be two more as my chip plays going to come out tomorrow. But Fuller... Uh, hasn't had one of those games I'm hoping for because I know this guy is capable of having one of those great games. Hopefully that will happen on Sunday. Uh, as far as Titan for DK, whew, Titan is not that pretty, man. But Kelsey, expensive, but you have to go with Kelsey. There's no way you're going to look for five Titans here and don't put Kelsey. So Kelsey automatically make it. Uh, the same go for Waller. Waller against... Uh, Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, he didn't do good last week. Uh, did have six targets, five receptions, but couldn't really do much with it. But I see if he got that much target, five receptions, I definitely see him have a better game. So Water is the second guy I'm looking to play. And the third guy, let's see who I have here. Finn. Fent will be one of my highest on player. I like him last week, and I like him again this week. And uh, nine targets, that's really, really good. He didn't get to the end zone, but uh, his uh, backup tight end did get to the end zone. But that was still good for a tight end. Tight end wasn't great. His price is not that bad. It was 4.8, 4.7, so definitely like him. And his price is actually going down. So Fent is... My third tight end, and then I gotta find two more tight end, and the two more I come up with is uh, Hawkinson. Right now he's questionable, so 5.1k questionable. Had a decent game. The only thing is his quarterback is not gonna be here, so uh, I can't see the you know usually the new quarterback they tend to throw to the tight end, you know, they try so. Hopefully that's going to be the case, but hopefully he can get to the end zone. But 10 target, man, I don't think he's going to get that. But hopefully, even if he gets less, but this time he get to the end zone. That's definitely uh, what I would be hoping for. And my last guy I'm going to go here with is Schultz for Dallas. Uh, 3.6 kit. The price is, I could have saved him to put him on my cheap play, but I'm going to go with him here. I know it's against Pittsburgh. Uh, but the price is too good for him not to put him there. I'm glad to see that he did get some uh, eight targets, so that's definitely something I like, and for that reason, I put him in there. All right, that's basically DK, guys. So let's go to FD real quick. So for FD, 
Uh, where they are talk about as far as my DK5, if I only play, uh, pick those guys for DK and I pick them for FD, I'm not even going to talk about them. So for quarterback, guys, it's Wilson, Watson. I already talked about those two guys. And uh, Herbert, Ben, and Mahomes. So basically, it's the same players. Uh, it's the same players, so I like the same quarterback on DK and FD. As far as running back, let me repeat them again. So Wilson, Watson, Herbert, Ben for, of Pittsburgh, and Mahomes of Kansas City. For running back, Cook. I already talked about Cook. Connor. Gordon, so uh, it's, I only talk about all those guys, Gordon and then Montgomery. So I like the same one, the only difference here, on, on DK I had Henry, but here I'm going to have uh, James Robinson. That's what I'm going to have here, James Robinson. Uh, without uh, the quarterback, they can even need him a little bit more, so James Robinson, uh, because of the price, yeah, I just had to go with him here. All right? Uh, when you're looking at this price difference between here and FD, I think that's the reason I decided, I mean, between here and DK, that's the reason I decided to go with him here. Uh, as far as receivers, it's Hopkins, Diggs, Allen, Robinson. So basically, I have the same four players. And the last one, let's see. So I have uh, Hopkins, Hopkins. Diggs, Allen, and uh, Robinson of Chicago, and Fuller. So basic and Fuller. So the same players again for both FD and DK. And for uh, tight end, it's Kelsey, Waller, Fent. And Engram, I like Engram against Washington. Uh, it's good uh, on was on Monday night. I, I like the targets he was getting, so that was good to see. Uh, but hopefully he had ten targets, so hopefully he can get those. He need to, and but I need to see him to do a little bit more. So Engram en on, and then the last guy is Kizeski for the Dolphins against Arizona. So two different tight end here compared to. Uh, DK. So on DK, I had Okensen and Schultz, but on FD, I have Ngren and Kizeski. Uh, there's a chance you could see some of those guys on my cheap list. But that's basically it, guys. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe. If you have not, drop a like in this video for me. Uh, good luck. Of course, uh, my uh, core play is going to come out tomorrow. Look out for those and also my cheap plays. All right? I appreciate you guys. Please, please subscribe. All right, I'm out.